She got that red hair, red jeans She so bad like Carlene Snap me, baby, uh, give me taco Fuck me in the car, please body. This ain't your my name is Clapping Zex, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you the best money making strategies for beginner, mid game, and end game. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So, first, let's start with beginner. This one is great because you get mining XP and coins. Like, this is like super ideal. So, basically, you're going to want to get yourself a golden shovel with efficiency 5 and telekinesis this is because you're, you're gonna be farming sand and you're gonna want to insta break okay so basically once you've gotten your golden shovel with efficiency 5 and telekinesis 1 you're gonna want to do slash visit PRTL and you're gonna want to vi visit the fast portal hub and here you're gonna want to go into the farming islands not this one but this one Okay. Once you have arrived at the area, you could choose to equip a silverfish pet if you'd want to. You get more farming XP and I believe you get permanent haste 3, but I believe you can still auto break it automatically anyways. This um, strategy can give you around 300k per hour, which is great for early game. Like this is literally ideal for early game. Like, this is like perfect. Okay, so basically, you're just wanna gonna. You're just gonna wanna run around here, farm sand, and then. Once your inventory fills, you can sell it to the bazaar. This is a bit inefficient, but. Y you have to, like, go to the hub, and then, like, quickly teleport over to the bazaar and then sell it but if you have a booster cookie on which you can get free in the beginning of the game from the community shop um, it should be quite easy to just do slash bz okay now to the second easy money making strat for beginner game okay so here's the bad thing the bad thing is that you're gonna have to wait till jerry season for this to happen for a, this to happen, not this to happen, but for this to work. So basically, what you're gonna want to do is, let's say it's Jerry season. Okay, Jerry season is an event in Skyblock, which comes around, you know, every few days. I think it's every week or so. You can check here for when season of Jerry starts. As you can see, a new season of Jerry starts in three hours, and they last for one one hour. So basically, what you're gonna want to do when Jerry, uh, Jerry season hits is you're gonna want to collect the gifts and if you're asking how many gifts is are there to collect there's 20 gifts around the Jerry season map and they're worth around um, you're gonna be collecting the white gifts which are gonna be worth around 5.4k each which is great think about that 5 times 5.4k times 20 yeah that's a lot of money in and the time it takes to collect all those gifts maybe mm, five to ten minutes and boom you've already made yourself like 220k that's insane okay another another honorable mention for mid game slash uh, uh, beginner game is grinding zealots if you don't know how to grind zealots you should probably be in a fast armor set for example young drag and you're probably going to be using an AOTE. Wait, so I shouldn't be using that. This, anyway, so I'm going to be using an AO. You're probably going to be using an AOTE. And then you're going to do the visit PRTL thing again. If you have um, fast travel to the Dragon's Cave, it's easier. Anyway, so you're going to, going to go down all the way here. To this, to the Dragon's Den. And if you don't understand what we're doing, we're going to be running around trying to kill these zealots. It's a bit tough right now due to the fact that it's derpy and some of you may not be able to insta-shot these guys since it's derpy. But if you wait till after derpy, you should be fine. You should be able to easily one-tap them. And if you use an actual normal damage pet, you should, be, you should easily be able to one-tap them. 
if you're asking how much money this makes per hour, this makes around three mil per hour, I would say, three to five mil, if you're lucky. So basically, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be getting these things called special zealots. If you're asking, what are special zealots? Special zealots spawn after you've hit, uh, they spawn, it's like an RNG Jesus drop, but like you get an enderman that has a special ze is a special zealot, and it sells these thing things called, um, where is it? These things called summoning eyes, and not cells, I mean, drops these things called summoning eyes after you kill the, um, special zealot. This, these summoning eyes can go for 600k to 750k. Think about that. Normally you drop them between 200 kill zealot kills, which can take you like, mm, I don't know, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and you can make 700k super easily. But this is like half mid game, half early game. Okay, another. This is incredible for making money in mid game. This could all. This could also be used for ma making money in end game possibly. But farming sugarcane, carrots, and nether wart. As you see, I don't have that big of a nether wart farm. But if you make a nether wart farm approximately the size of my cane farm. You can make around 7 million coins per hour. And you're like, what? 7 million coins per hour? That's great. Yeah, think about that. 7 million coins an hour for just holding your mouse down and moving your keys a couple times? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay. And sugarcane can make you around 3 to 4 million coins per hour. But this is great because you also get farming XP. And farming XP is really great to have as it is beneficial to have as it gives you health and it's kind of a flex if you have a high farming level I guess <laughs> okay for endgame I have to say that Enderman Slayer wins this by a ton Enderman Slayer can make from 30 mil an hour to 1 billion coins an hour yep you heard me. That's legit double my purse right now. Like, what? That's insane. So basically, if you want to make this one bill per hour, you're going to have to drop a judgment core, which is super unlikely, but it could still happen. It's happened to tons of people. Anyways, but to drop a judgment core, you unfortunately have to be tier 7 Enderman Slayer, and you have to be doing tier 4s, which is incredibly hard. Anyways, you do still make money off every single Enderman Slayer tier as it drops a thing called Void Gloom Seraph. Void Gloom Seraph is incredibly valuable as you can drop a ton of it. I'll show you right now how much Void Gloom Seraph you can drop from a tier 3, which is, incre which is quite normal. Tier 3, you can drop 60 to 80. Most endgame players are able to complete a tier three. So let's say you drop eighty per boss. Let's see how much. Let's see how much eighty Void Bloom Sigraph is. That's already one hundred forty-eight k per boss. Like think about that. Let's say you do ten bosses. Bam! Think how much money that is. That's already one point five mil. And ten bosses maybe takes twelve, fifteen minutes if you're really if you're actually good at the. Enderman Slayer. And if you do tier 4, it's even more than that. I think it's like 2 mil per boss. I meant 2 mil in like 10 bosses. That's insane. Okay, anyways, that's all for today's video. If you guys want me to drop more money making strats or like more AFK money making strats, just make sure to comment down below. And if you did reach it this far, can you please comment sheep? just the word sheep i'll make sure to heart and reply to every single comment that says sheep okay anyways peace out guys and yeah peace that please subscribe and like this video it took a long time to make i had to come up with a bunch of ideas and if you want to see how to afk combat xp and get a bunch of coins overnight make sure to press the latest video it will be in the description and it will pop up on your screen in about three seconds peace